Welcome back to DBL. Ty Pennington made his mark in the renovation world on Extreme Makeover Home Edition, and now he's helping entire towns thrive on Hulu's small business revolution. Earlier, I talked with Ty and his co-host Amanda Brinkman. They gave me a sneak peek of what to expect this season in today's DBL Spotlight. Ty Pennington and Amanda Brinkman, thank you so much for joining DBL. I gotta tell you, as a small business owner myself, I am so excited for Small Business Revolution. So, Ty, you are a renovation icon. I look to you for inspiration. How is the transformation process yes. on this show different than some of your uh, past projects? Well, on the past projects, I mean, we are literally tearing down houses to the to the you know to the ground. Well, then let's <laughs> do it. Hey, bus driver, pull over. With Small Business Revolution, it's really about saving a business. So we're adding things to it, we're sprucing things up, but we're definitely not necessarily tearing things down. The effect that you can have by revamping a business. It's miraculous to see the change, but it's also what's really awesome is to see the belief in themselves once they've gone through the season and you, you realize that they've got a grip of, of how their business is changing and, and a new way of looking and, 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 and running it. Yeah, I think the boost in morale is something that uh, I don't think anybody but a small business owner could probably describe to you how important that is. And Amanda, I want you to give me the inside scoop on the town that's featured this time around. Searcy, Arkansas, which is an incredible small town um, in central Arkansas, and we really fell in love with their sense of community. Uh, they give back disproportionately not only to each other, but they have a great number of nonprofits and are really passionate about the foster care community. Wow. So those families really step out and yeah. take care of children when their families can. Why was it important for both of you to be a part of this mission to help small town America? And I thank you just personally. I think it's so cool. We decided to go out and put our money where our mouth is and actually walk alongside them and help them. For sure. I can't wait. And like you said, as viewers, we can really learn. So you also have this pay it forward mentality. But Ty, before I let you both go, I have to ask you about the book you released earlier this year. Did I hear you wrote it in seven yeah. days? How did you pull that off? I'm one of those people, like, if there's not any chaos in the room, I'll create some chaos <laughs> just so I can figure out how to solve it. Um, but yeah, it, it was a challenge because I, I, I wanted people to really get an idea of how extreme sort of my life has been. And honestly, you really got an in-depth look on sort of like inside my brain, which isn't always, well, clear. Well, speaking of which, I have to thank you for being so open about having ADHD because, you know, I've worked with kids and a lot of kids who are diagnosed with ADHD sure. and they end up feeling bad about it. They shouldn't. How did your ADHD benefit your career? How is it your superpower, so to speak? The, the truth of it is, is like there's many years when my mom as a child psychologist was trying to figure out what I would be good at. And the one thing that I always went back to that I, I could focus on was either sort of solving uh, geometrical puzzles or, or drawing. My advice to anybody dealing with those kind of challenges with the ADHD is let them go through whatever door they seem to be passionate about because you never know in the end if they can use all those different paths wow. that's gonna lead to one incredible destination. Wow, oh, you both well, amaze me, you really do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ty and Amanda. I can't wait to watch Small Business Revolution on Hulu. Both of you have a fantastic day.